for a 10 million US dollar international competition to see who can best use autonomous technology to survey rainforests. That's coming to Singapore this month. Well, the semi-finals will see 13 teams from 10 countries checking out the biodiversity at the Central Catchment Nature Reserve. More with have guests from the organizers Kevin Merritt from X Prize Rainforest and Lim, Lim Tiang Lim, Jim, pardon me, from N Parks. Welcome, gentlemen. I want to start with you, uh, Mr. Merritt. Uh, now, this competition is a five-year, it stretches over five years. So you had the first entry starting in 2019. Why did X Prize Rainforest choose Singapore to host the semifinals? So we chose Singapore for uh, many reasons. Um, the rainforest is easily accessible um, and the city provides a lot of the amenities that the competing teams uh, are going to require at this stage of the competition. Uh, Liang Jim, let's bring you in on the conversation now. Uh, you know, we're a small island. We've lost a lot of our biodiversity already, but we, we do still, you know, discover quite a bit here and there, right? Like several hundred, I think, different well, absolutely, uh, yeah. we, recently, and some that we even thought were extinct. Right. Uh, we, we discovered as yeah. well. Uh, the Central Catchment Nature Reserve has been chosen. Do we know just... Is, is there an estimate of what, we'd, what may still, we may still uncover or find? All right, Dan. So basically, Singapore has still got a lot to offer. Uh, despite our small size, our first world economy, we still have a lot to offer in terms of richness of biodiversity. Just as an example, Singapore still uh, has 2,100 species of plants that were recorded from Singapore, uh, 80 species of mammals, over 400 species of birds, right? Uh, we have the richest uh, species diversity of ants in the world and um, that numbers over 400 species of ants and the smaller they are the more you find the more you look the more you find so there is a lot of opportunity uh, for x prize to come in and help us again to basically exercise the spirit of discovery and find what is still in our right. forest so there's plenty for these teams to get their literally to get their teeth into as far as this is concerned so, mm -hmm. Mr. Merritt, this competition, uh, you win, I uh, simplify this, if you're able to come up with the best novel technology to rapidly and comprehensively survey rainforest biodata, biodiversity and use that data to improve the understanding of our ecosystems. Does that sum up how you win this? How, how do you judge the best novel technology as an example? So the teams will be tasked with surveying the most amount of biodiversity. So the winning team will survey the most amount of biodiversity within 24 hours um, and then analyse that data within 48 hours. So there's two challenges to this. One, the capturing the data and secondly, analysing the data in such a short space of time. So there are, they're gaining insights essentially into into what they're finding using the, the technology that they've, they've developed. I mean, this technology is their own, is their own innovation. It, 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 it springs from, the ideation comes from them, is that right? That's correct, yeah. We, don't, we um, provide the challenge to the teams and the rules and regulations behind how we're going to run the competition. Yeah. But we, it's solely down to the teams to come up with the solution. We'll get to you again, uh, Mr. Lim, but, but sure. very quickly following up from that. In other words, if you are judging and rewarding in terms of capture and speed of analysis, it means that this method of, of understanding biodiversity, these are the things that are lacking in our tech right now. Is that so? Very quickly. Yeah, there's been, there's been um, several advances recently with um, conservation technologies, um, you know, camera trap technologies, thermal imaging, um, bioacoustics, but all of these tools um, have to be installed by a human. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where the, the XPRIZE comes in, XPRIZE Rainforest is innovating the um, autonomous nature of, of those technologies. So taking the, taking the human out of the installation process to be able to rapidly um, survey um, rainforest, um, be able to cover more ground, so provide a lot more um, coverage over a wide area and um, basically just Put, it, put these devices in places that are really difficult to get to. So the forest right. canopy being one of those. I mean, when it comes to the central catchment area, to what we've got left uh, here mm -hmm. in Singapore, 
How beneficial might such technology be for our own you know, sort of biotech surveillance? I think there's a lot of opportunity. Uh, Singapore already has, in the past 10 years particularly, used a lot of technology in our surveillance and our biodiversity conservation strategies. But uh, until now, there are certain places that we have not been able to survey as extensively. Uh, for example, the canopies, like Kevin has said before, um, and I think there's opportunity there for maybe a suite of technologies that can then be deployed in our canopies and find what's there. Because a lot of biodiversity lives in treetops. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, uh, you mentioned this, the choice of Singapore as a site for uh, the semi-finals of this competition is because one of the reasons, easy accessibility to our rainforest. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could also argue because they are so accessible, our rainforest will lack the depth, I suppose, that, that you get from remoteness, that you might get from, from elsewhere. Uh, can Singapore serve as a useful case study for a larger global perspective as far as our rainforests go? Either of you can take this. Yes, it can. And the, um, the, the biodiversity within Singapore is fairly well documented. Um, and we can use that baseline as a means to... Um, accurately assess the team's technology throughout the, te throughout the competition. Um, I'd just like to add to that as well that, yes, the rainforest in Singapore is small in comparison to the likes of the Amazon or the Congo, but um, Singapore's commitment to conserving that rainforest, I think, is a good message to the world that the rainforest in Singapore is important and you know the we have to conserve what we have um mm. and the services that the rainforest regardless of size provides is vital to the health and well-being of the planet well gentlemen thank you very much for coming into the studios and sharing that with us uh, all the best with the competition uh, the rest of the competition thank you very much uh, thank, Lin, you very much. Thank, you. thank you group director at conservation at national parks board and Kevin Marriott, their technical lead at XPRIZE Rainforest.